In British gardens and garden centers, geopolitical lines of conflict meet and make it very clear that Brexit is not available for free. Anyone wandering through the often well-visited UK nurseries these days will notice the new price tags. It is obvious that prices are rising. But why? Green seedlings, as far as the eye can see, the greenhouses and sales pallets on the island are apparently well filled. But this appearance is deceptive, because the offer is no longer enough for the garden crazy British. And what's the problem? As in previous years, many seedlings have to be imported from the continent, which will be made more difficult by Brexit, while demand is increasing at the same time. One thing is clear, that messes up prices, to the detriment of customers. Boyd Douglas Davies is the director of the British Garden Centers. He shows a reporter some of the bestsellers. Here is Rosemary Run uh, from one of our horticultural companies in Italy. In the cold, rainy island kingdom, more and more people are relaxing while watering and gardening from Brexit worries and COVID stress. But prices are skyrocketing, says Douglas Davies. And he says, we buy a huge number of plants on the European continent, in Holland, Belgium, Italy, Germany, says Douglas Davies. And Brexit has changed the import formalities for plants. We have had a huge amount of administrative work since January, which is costly and delays imports. The demand for blossoms and flowers has doubled or tripled. Since COVID, 3 million Britons have rediscovered gardening. At the same time, the supply stagnates. Due to Brexit, deliveries to the island have halved. Euronews reporter Luke Hanran said, these carnations have to be grown on the European continent. In the UK, the weather is just not warm enough. The carnations here come from the Netherlands and importing them is now 20% more expensive, which upsets the price structure in the nurseries. Because every flower, every tree needs a kind of European passport for export or import. And these export and import certificates are no longer valid. Before a plant comes to us in the UK via the water, it needs a phytosanitary certificate, explains Douglas Davies. We need to have this before the plants have reached British soil. This is an additional administrative burden that is required of us, regardless of where the plants are coming from, he says. Many British nurseries pass the additional costs on to their customers. Brexit makes life more expensive, even for hobby gardeners. And so, you see, Brexit is a gift that keeps on giving. And so, we will have to talk about this for quite some time. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.